to your girl Milka back at it again with another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna do the most requested video ever. Like, I have um, four friends who really want me to do this video. Kasi how thou to move on, how to move on, how to forget about the past, yun ganun. So, disclaimer lang guys, this is not related to what I'm feeling right now. So yeah. And yeah, let's for the further ado, let's get started. <laughs> okay, how to move on, how to forget the past, ganon. So for the record lang, if you're you're going to watch this video if you are willing to move on from your past, okay? But if you're not willing to move on at gusto gusto mo lang talagang umasa ng umasa kasi alam mong makakabalikan pa kayo, so skip this video. Kasi I'm doing this for the people who really wants to move on, who's willing to move on. Okay? So yes, based on my this is based on my experience, pero alam ko naman gusto ko i-share to sa inyo because I know that I can help you by this. Kasi alam ko naman na marami ding mga tao na nagsasuffer ayun because they're broke, they're tired. Ganun. So yes, how to move on based on my experience. So based on my experience, I I created a rule for myself na susundin ko talaga para makamove on ako. So, ito. Rule number one, we're, we're friends and social media's account. All the social, social, all the social media's account, we are friends. So, what I did is I unfollow her on uh, on Facebook, I just unfollow her. Para naman hindi magmukang bitter na blinak. I don't like blocking people <laughs> talaga. So yes, I unfollow her and we're still friends on Facebook but ayoko lang talagang um, makita yung mga post niya. Ganun. So this is not, wait, disclaimer again, this is not, um, this is not related to my relation in to my girlfriend today right now <laughs> so yes yun i unfollow her and then um the second para hindi ko para hindi ko talaga makita yung mga post niya yung mga how happy she is while me is parang wasak na wasak ganun so the second then is the second is um, i what I did the second is, hindi na ako nagsastalk sa kanya. Although, may, yung, yung may nagsasabi talaga sa kanya, oh, mag-stalk ka sa kanya, baka ano na ginagawa niya, ganun. But, I insist, hindi, ayoko talaga. Kasi, tama na na nasaktan ako. Tama na na umiyak ako. So, ayoko na talagang maka, makakita ng um, negative, tapos iiyak ka. Kasi, Ikaw rin naman yung ano eh. Ikaw rin naman yung iiyak. Ikaw yung masasaktan. So stop. Ganun. So the third is um I spend a lot of time with my family, with my friends, with my best friends, closest friends, real friends. Yeah. I spend a lot of time, especially to my family. And the fourth is ah kasakit. Ah. Ah kasakit. Ah, oh. and then... the fourth is love yourself, love yourself, give yourself um, happiness that you deserve. Yun. Love, 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 love your, yourself first, okay. And the next is talk to God. That was the power, powerful weapon that can make us happy. Talk to God and tell Him everything that your heart desires. Tell Him na what, what was your problem. Ganon kasi alam natin at alam mo na si God lang talaga yung makakatulong sa atin when it comes to problem. Diba? And, kasi ako, ako, pag parang gusto ko na talagang umiyak, I cross, 
and then talk to him. Always nga ako umiiyak pag, pag ano eh, pag, um, pag kinakausap ko siya. Kasi parang alam ko na nakikinig talaga siya. Parang alam ko na nandiyan sa, sa side ko. At saka alam nyo yung kung anong sinasabi ko sa kanya while I'm praying. Like, sana matapos na, matapos na yung lahat ng sakit na naranasan ko. Kasi do I deserve this? I do deserve happiness. Ganun. And then, sinasabi ko sa kanya lahat ng, ano, lahat ng blessings na binibigay niya sa akin, sa family ko, sa lahat ng tao, especially sa earth, and especially sa mga tao na nagmamahal sa akin, and sinasabi ko lahat sa kanya yung mga problema ko, at yun, pagkatapos kong sabihin lahat ng lahat ng lahat ng gusto kong sabihin sa kanya, hihingi ako ng yakap niya, and guess what? I do really feel his embrace. Alam mo, alam mo yung parang nagpre-pray ka tapos parang may par talagang may umakap sa iyo na malamig. Ganun. Ganun yung na-feel ko. At saka doon ko na prove na nakikinig talaga si God sa akin. And doon after that, always ako nag nagpe-pray niyan. Tapos yung parang last na pray ko na na parang pang 7 days na na-pray ko. Tapos pagka-umaga, yung in-embrace niya na ako, yung na-feel ko na yung embrace niya. Tapos pagka-umaga, gumising ako na totoo talaga. Wala nang bigat sa ano ko, sa sa puso ko. Wala na akong bigat na pinapasan. Parang, parang ang free ko na. Parang, yung feeling na wala na, wala na problema. Parang tapos ka na, accept, na-accept mo na lahat. And parang ang saya-saya mo na. But last, acceptance. Hindi mo, hindi mo ma, I mean, hindi mo makakamit yung, yung ano, yung kalayaan mo. Kung hindi mo ia-accept na wala na talaga, hindi na talaga kayo. Kasi, sabi nga nila, acceptance is the key to be truly free. Diba? So yeah, accept the fact na wala na kayo. Accept the fact na, tapos na yung journey nyo yung dalawa. Kasi, hindi naman kayo maghihiwalay kung hindi pa tapos yung journey nyo yung dalawa. Hindi kayo maghihiwalay kung para man pala kayo sa isa't isa. Yun, so, thank God for everything. Thank God na, always thank God for everything. Always thank God na before ka matulog at saka before ka bumangon. Always thank Him kasi um, kasi ganito kasi yun guys eh. ito, yung na, na, ito yung natutunan ko sa lahat-lahat is yung kasi may ibang tao din na parang galit sila galit sila kay Lord kasi wala silang blessings na tatanggap like financially yung mga pera foods or um, what they want parang yung gusto nilang magpipresa na gusto ko ng cellphone, tapos hindi nila makukuha, tapos magagalit sila sa Lord. Di ba may mga ganon tao? So, dapat kasi, hindi dapat kasi yan ginagawa. Hindi dapat kasi kwine-question yung Panginoon kung bakit hindi ka gina, binibigyan ng pera, bakit walang blessings na pera na dumadating sa'yo, bakit hindi ka binibilhan ng cellphone, ganon. Kasi alam nyo yung totoong, hindi, oo, Although, totoo naman na blessings yung pera, pero ang alam nyo ba kung ano ang totoong blessing? Yung totoong blessing is, nakatira pa tayo sa mundo na ginawa ng Diyos. May mata, may ilong, may bibig, may katawan, may kamay, nakakalakan, nakakahinga, nakakakita, at nakakaamoy. Yun yung totoong blessings. Na magpapasalamat ka na nakakakita ka pa. Diba? Magpapasalamat ka na yung nakatira ka pa dito hindi ka pa kinukuha diba? magpasalamat ka kasi wala kang sakit na nararamdaman magpasalamat ka kasi kasama mo pa yung pamilya mo, magpasalamat ka kasi nakagising ka pa sa umaga diba? we're, we're lucky enough kasi yung ibang tao natutulog, hindi na nakakagising kasi tapos na yung buhay nila ganun so nakakasad lang pakinggan or marinig na may ganyang tao na hindi like hindi hindi 
grateful kung anong meron sa kanila. Diba? So, yun. Yun na yung lahat ng gusto kong isabi sa inyo. So, sana nakatulog yung tips ko. But, anyways, that's my, that's my, based on my experience. And, I think makakatulong din naman yan sa inyo when you apply it. But, I don't think so you need to apply it. Kasi, kanya-kanya naman din tayo ng rules at pwede naman din kayong gumawa ng rules nyo na mapapa bagay sa inyo, di ba? So, thank you for watching and I hope you guys that you've learned um, you've learned from me because I've learned from you, chavo <laughs> I hope you guys that you've learned from me you've learned na paano maging blessed kahit ulang pera Paano maging grateful kahit ulang pera? So, let's all trust him. Okay? Thank you, guys. I love you.